We have been interested in the issue of assisted dying for decades. Our mandate is to promote and extend human rights and civil liberties throughout Canada. We filed our lawsuit in 2011. Elaine Chapre is a woman who suffers from MS and she said, I read about your lawsuit. Uh, this issue is so important to me. How can I help? MS is a disease that affects the nerves in your body. And there's no known cause and there's no known cure. I don't have privacy. I don't have any independence. I need help with all activities of daily living, like eating, brushing my teeth, going to the bathroom. My greatest fear is to be suffering and not have an end to it. If I were able-bodied, I could decide when and where and how. So I have to do it myself with no assistance. If anybody helps me, they're liable to 14 years in jail. Many people who have ALS or MS can't really um, participate in the act of suicide. Lee and Hollis assisted Lee's elderly mother, who was 89 years old, had a very serious case of spinal stenosis. And her last dying wish was to travel to Switzerland to have an assisted death. She said, Lee, would you help me with this? And it just didn't take me a second to say, yes, I will. Because what we were doing was illegal, we couldn't tell anybody. So um, we aided and abetted her. It's a, it's a crime in Canada to do that. But there were many people that she would love to have said goodbye to, and she couldn't. In 2012, the BC Supreme Court, in a watershed decision, determined that the criminal laws were unconstitutional. We were beyond elated. We won on every single point. We knew what it meant for the people that were involved. The federal government appealed to the BC Court of Appeal, and we argued that appeal before the court in 2013. We lost at the Court of Appeal. That decision was not one on the merits, but um, a procedural one. The BC Court of Appeal basically said its hands were tied by the 20-year-old Sue Rodriguez decision. If it was going to be revisited, it would have to be revisited by the Supreme Court of Canada. You know, people say to me, it's not so bad. I think unless you're there, you don't really understand. So that leaves you with over-medication, self-starvation, and some other violent means of getting rid of yourself. I think every living thing dies eventually, but I think people are afraid and we don't talk about death. If it were not for an organization like the BC Civil Liberties Association, these laws probably would not have been challenged. What's really at stake is real people suffering. I really, really believe in the cause. I think it's a real detriment to people who are disabled. I think the law should change in this country about dying with dignity uh, because it's the more compassionate thing to do. What we'd really uh, like to see is that the Supreme Court of Canada will overturn the BC um, Court of Appeal and that Canadians will have the choice. I absolutely believe that people like Elaine, people like Kate Carter, should be able to make these deeply personal end-of-life choices based on their own values.